Sasa. Nini? Na na record video sasa hivi tu kama unataka kuonekana ya hapo. Nipuze. Nipuze kwa nani na mimi siuzi siuzi watu. Hmm. Hey, na record. Guys, my my work just got blown away by the wind. That's what it as an experiment and if it works out, yeah, I was baking. If it doesn't work out, it was just an experiment. So yeah, I'm making cake. In fact, this is what inspired the cake. I had some berries remaining and then I thought, actually, I can make them a cake. So I decided to just bake a full-on cake. So I have here my my cooking oil which is recycled so it has a few particles i don't know if it's okay to use recycled but i'm just gonna throw away all of that this is not pringles by the way this is ginger in here there's a typical african family where you put everything in a different container so not pringles but ginger salt sugar Blueberry and two old, old hard lemons, which are pretty much like wood right now. I don't even know if I'll get the rest out of this, but I'm hoping I will because I don't have any other flavoring except these lemons and the ginger. Some flour that remained from last time's disaster. This is flour with uh, cinnamon and ginger. No, more, no, more flour that is self raising, so I don't have to use baking powder or baking soda.
looks nice. We may not know about the taste, but it's nice. It's tasting better. Okay, it's tasting the same way it looks. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I start my work so fast and so abruptly, I just forget to film. So, I am gluing on these pieces. No way, I made a mistake. Oof. Yep, I made a mistake. Starting over. That would look really cool. Yeah, so that's how I made it. So this was not actually how I had made it like before. I have made some few alterations. So let me insert of a uh, let me insert a picture of how I had made it before. So as you've seen before and now it's a bit different. The buckle is different. That's cause the other buckle I had put, I realized that it was too small for the bag. Because the bag uh, is bigger, so there was no balance. Like it was just looking like a, a small thing stuck there. And also, I didn't like the stitch so much. I could have changed the stitch, but I just decided to do away with the whole buckle. And because I didn't have uh, any remaining fabric in this color, I decided to use this brown one for the buckle. So yeah so i changed the buckle i made it a bit uh, more dramatic so that it can look bigger so that it can have balance with the bag and also uh, a little bit of uniqueness instead of copying the design the exact same way it was so yeah that's why i changed this part at least now it's bigger you can see the length is longer the other one was like from here to here <laughs> at least this one is much longer it's in harmony in harmony it's in harmony with the bag something else i changed is the straps at the back the straps i had put before were in this color also and they were much shorter and then they uh, they were like from this what is it called they were from this part to this part but now i made that like a full length one it's because the other straps when I put a, a belt on it and then uh, strapped it on my waist, so you see the straps were the straps were like holding the bag from somewhere here. So when I put when I put it on my waist, this upper part was just hanging hanging in front in a weird way, like that. And this is how it was looking. But now that I've changed the straps and put them up here. Okay. Now it's looking like that. Like the actual shape of the bag. So I also decided to use the brown fabric so that it can match the front and this part. Yeah, so it's a combination of three colors, which is fine. Uh, also, you may have noticed that this bag. Structure, structurally it's very firm while this one is not i think this one uh was made using either genuine leather or it had like soft board inside it but because i did not have genuine leather and i didn't have soft board to put in the bag in the in the fabric between the fabrics to make it firmer this is what uh, we have to go with 
but otherwise i like it it's um the same idea but uh just has like a bit of difference a bit of difference which i think makes it makes it good both are good both are good but this one makes it more me like designed by someone else right so there we go guys this is the end of the video you've seen the process from when i was um making patterns uh using manila outside and the wind blew away my manila you've seen me cooking <laughs> kidogo kidogo this was about to turn into like a, a cooking channel because i do so much cooking basically it's like my life is just cooking and making leather uh, that's pretty much what my life is right now so yeah you've seen me baking cooking coming here to do work everything and um i'll show you the other bag once it's done and i'll show you the process of the other one probably in the next video thank you for watching my videos guys um if you're enjoying my content please subscribe uh subscribe comment and like the video please like the video uh yeah and um have yourself a wonderful mashujade have yourself a wonderful week as it continues and a wonderful weekend and uh, you can give me suggestions of anything you want. oh by the way someone asked me if i teach how to make leather bags yes i teach at a fee of fifteen thousand, just a one-time fee yeah, and then i'll teach you like everything i know about how to make bags yeah that's it that's it so i'll put my contact in the description in case you'd like to talk to me yeah, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.